Hey everyone, it's Dr. Andrew Wolf here with Health Ed Solutions, and today's lesson is an introduction to ABGs. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com for more free content. Now let's get started. Now, this is just the first in a series of short videos that will help you learn to interpret ABGs quickly, easily, and reliably. I'll tell you more about the other videos in this series at the end of this video. So, an arterial blood gas is drawn typically from the radial artery, from the femoral artery, or from the axillary artery. And it's important because the arterial blood is chemically the same as the blood that's returning from your lungs to the heart in terms of oxygenation and acid base. So it gives us a lot of information about um, the acid base status in the blood prior to getting to the tissues and the capillary beds. And it also tells us about both oxygenation and acid base balance. It helps us diagnose problems with ventilation, perfusion, and metabolic derangement that may precipitate a code. So the first thing that you need to understand is that an arterial blood gas has five different values that are typically seen in blood gases. And these values include pH, and the normal pH is between 7.35 to 7.45 on a scale that goes from 0 to 14. So it's a very narrow range. Um, the partial pressure of arterial CO2 or PaCO2 with the normal value of 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. And for those of you who are um, need a refresher on what a uh, um, partial pressure of gases are, I have a video about that that you can take a look at. The next value is bicarbonate with a normal value of around 21 to 27. I often see 22 to 28 as normal values as well, and these are in milliequivalents per liter. Then we have the partial pressure of oxygen with normal values of 80 to 100. And again, these are partial pressures, so, the, so they're in millimeters of mercury. And then we have the oxygen saturation with a normal value of greater than 92% or 92 to 100%. Now the first three values here tell us about acid-base balance. So <clears throat> we have our pH that's normal of 7.4 and it tells us about the balance between acids and bases that are in the blood and it can tell us about um, derangements of the respiratory system as well as kidney function and toxicities that can possibly cause derangements in, in acid base and cause um, movement of this pH from uh, below the normal of 7.35 and above the normal of 7.45. The second two relate to oxygenation. And they just tell us about the partial pressure of oxygen or the oxygen saturation, which is the percentage of hemoglobin in the blood that is saturated with oxygen or bind, bound with. So this is just the first in a series of short videos about the topic of arterial blood gases. In the next video, um, I will be talking about hypoxemia and about how the blood gases can be interpreted related to hypoxemia. Then I will have a video about respiratory alkalosis, a separate one about respiratory acidosis, where I'll talk about um, different reasons and different ways of interpreting um, the acidosis caused by derangement of the respiratory system. In the next one, I'll talk about metabolic al alkalosis, or causes when the uh, pH is too high because of issues usually typically with the kidneys or with ingestion of toxic substances. And then in the final one, I will have a video about metabolic acidosis, where I talk about, again, uh, derangements of the kidneys that causes uh, that cause, um, acidosis. Other endogenous causes, endogenous acids or acids that come from within the body that cause acidosis, and um, acidosis that's caused by toxicity. That's it for our lesson today. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to please like and subscribe below.